tree. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Robert Brothers Elephants. And it's the last of the Bobby Roberts famous performing elephants who for decades wowed audiences all over the world. To us, she's never been an animal. She means as much to us as our children do. Is this a right environment for an elephant? If you look in her eyes, she's not unhappy. I don't care what anybody says. But recently, these images of Anne being mistreated by one of the Roberts employees were captured by a camera planted in her living quarters by an animal rights group. The footage shocked the country, but there's a silver lining to the story, as Longleat Safari Park have agreed that Anne can see out the rest of her days with them. When you saw the footage for the first oh, time? I couldn't believe it. What, what was the reason? That's yeah. what I want to know. What was the reason? What's it going to be like for you, Moira, when she leaves? Heartbreaking. But really? It's heartbreaking, but it's not. Because for two years, we've tried to rehome Anne, knowing that she really should be retired somewhere <laughs> peaceful and quiet now. Yeah. But, and it's taken a horrible, horrible story for people to come forward and offer Anne somewhere to go, something we've been trying to do for the last two years. Where has been offered for her to go now is wonderful. How do you, has it left you feeling, Bobby? Not at all. But for Bobby and Moira, that's far from the end of the story. The media storm around them has led to huge crowds picketing the circus. Why is it you're campaigning here today? Um, I was obviously shocked by the footage that I saw of Anne. Obviously, everyone's seen the video on the news. It's been part of Facebook and YouTube. Bobby Roberts has to accept responsibility for the way that animals are kept, uh, you know, that these animals are meant to be in his care. And the protests seem to be working. That night, the big top was almost empty. The audience last night was next to nothing, absolutely next to nothing. We're in danger of losing our life, our business and our homes. How long do you think you've got if things continue the way they are without people coming in? A week at the most. I've been doing it all my life. i performed since I was four years old. We're proud of our name and always have been and we've not done anything wrong other than hire an unscrupulous, horrible, horrible person. But ticket sales are far from their only worry. The couple are now the target of a disturbing hate campaign. Most of the calls are numbers withheld that are threatening our lives, threatening our children's lives. In fact, my own daughter-in-law answered the phone yesterday and she just broke down completely because they said the next thing we do is kidnap your children. That's not fair. Don't All we're trying to do is entertain the public and there's not much left in the way of entertainment. Very sad. Uh, mixed emotions for everybody watching that film. Yeah. Where do you, where do you, how do you, you know, are you for or against animal circuses, animals in captivity? <sighs> it's complicated, isn't it? Really complicated issue. I think <clears throat> animals belong in the wild. That's where they should be. And the, the big problem that we have isn't actually circuses um, or animals in captivity. It's the loss of habitat. All over the world, um, the habitat is vanishing as animals come into conflict with an ever-burgeoning human population. And I think what we have to do is learn to live alongside wildlife. And that's a very difficult thing. And uh, I, I believe that's the ultimate test of a civilization is whether or not you can live alongside the wild animals that occupy that space. And that, that's not just having them there. It's also having them there in a way that you can coexist without conflict. And that's a very difficult thing to achieve. Do you think, but do you think circuses, you know, with um, animals, you know, dying, is, that's a natural death. It's just inevitable. That's got to happen in this day and age. I mean, my heart goes out to them because you, clearly the woman absolutely loves her animals. Well, exactly. And um, as she said, you know, they'd hired somebody who was unscrupulous. But I think at the end of the day, you have to ask, what do you think the elephant would say? And of course, elephants, as we know, are social animals with tremendous depth of personality and feeling. And uh, it's just a pity we can't ask them what, what the elephant <laughs> thinks. You, you can know? ask him. You